welcome uh, today lesson we are going to start a new unit new our subject uh, which is customer relationship management in tourism and hospitality so we'll discuss about customer relationship management how we'll keep customer relation how we'll keep our customer always we take them loyal forever if we'll make the customer loyal they stay longer with us is always best you know because every new customer is cast for the company to get it and so that's why we try our best to be in hospitality and various other industries we'll try to keep our customer happy and we'll try to be exceed their expectation and fulfill their expectation which is quite crucial in hospitality and tourism industry where is a huge competition increasing day by day already is a comp for their increasing as well there is a no boundary people are traveling from all over the world but we lot of competitions is increasing as well so we need to be make sure our customer relationship management is quite you know is crucial area in hospitality we need to be managed so mm -hmm. uh it's four major learning outcome areas really we need to discuss about we'll learn about describe the importance of customer relation in tourism and hospitality industry will discuss different function will go through different factors those influence on customer relation will assess some factor that influence customer purchase decision many customer relationship surveys will go through effective team how we can make team team management different teams theory will discuss about as well and different legislation sales good and service act which is 1974 in the uk the different country have a different uh, legislation for sales management and tour guides and agent how we can different legislation for them which will go through as well our key our key area will be in our focus which will be understanding the customer experience consumer behavior will go through customer function we'll discuss consumer based organization we'll discuss about some challenges customer and conflict how we can manage conflict management discuss about the complaint management how we can manage the complaint and we'll discuss customer the satisfaction measurement technology role within uh, manage our customer relation ship crm customer relationship management system software how these will help us to manage we'll discuss team team roles how we can make team leading team and uh, licensing in a tourism industry legislation these are all our focus area will be in our, under this unit okay so let's we'll start what is meant by crm um customer relations management okay how will keep the customer relation how we can manage the customer relation um by put, putting forward good customer service to keep customers interested in our products and services um let me see understanding customers needs and wants and meeting those needs and wants exceptionally mm -hmm. um understanding their behaviors why they behave the way they behave um understanding the the well their cultural backgrounds good um listening to the complaints whatever complaints they might have or whether whatever suggestions they might have pertaining to their stay at your hotel or wherever they are um meeting their needs ensuring that they are satisfied and that their experience is exceptional hmm um yeah thanks that's all that it's well done 
Great. Yes, thus these are the areas we need to manage. And uh, let's our today lesson will be focused introduction to CRM. We'll explain explanation of consumer behavior. And we'll discuss about service quality, customer satisfaction, and loyalty. And we'll define what is meant by CRM. At the end of the lesson, we wish you know we all clear about what is meant by these. Okay, so let's we'll discuss about first CRM. CRM is a core business strategy that integrated internal processes and function and external network to create and deliver value to target customer at a profit. At a, it is a grounded and high quality customer related data and enabled mm -hmm. by information technology. So CRM organization strategies that integrate. So if we're saying we'll keep customer happy, how will mm -hmm. keep happy all our functional areas, which is the marketing, recruitment, production, manufacturing, after sales service, everything need to be integrated. Okay. If we can't achieve it. If we want to increase sales, we want to maximize our sales, we want to exceed it, we can't exceed it until we integrate. Okay. So that's why it's quite crucial. We need to be focused on integration. Does it make sense? Yes. So our focus need to be so our focus area internal processes. So those processes when we we'll book the customer guest you know so we really need to be coordinate with the kitchen what sort of the food they required yes so we uh -huh. need to be integrated system in place within our organization at an external if we have a link with the taxis um, uh, pick and drop service various other airline industry we need external network as well uh -huh. so if their flights cancel for suppose you know to be delivered the value to the target customer at profitable. So we need to be manage all the relationship. We need to be managed relationship with the local church, with the local custom, local all you know, all the stakeholders. So CRM is a strategy of the business that aims to create and deliver value. We can't deliver the value as by isolating. If we have a, we need a value to be delivered, value in term of the value food, value in term of the value layout, value in term of the value cleaning, value in term of value price, value in term of, you know, exceeding the expectation of the client. Mm -hmm. The clearly denote our link or we can say the term CRM is not just about the IT. It is an integrated function of different functions. Yes. It's allowed yeah. to solve the wall at a separate them. We don't need to be, we are as a one team, we need to be work towards the customer good experience. Yeah. So customer related data allows supplier and the member their external network. So external network, we can see when they book, when they book the client, we can see where they're from what type of the thing they like and things, you know, if we have a profile of the, uh, our customer, like, you know, what mm -hmm. type of the food you prefer and they book it different, mm -hmm. you know, like a travel or tourist agency, when they book it, we can get information, then we can tackle them and we can profile them and we can provide them same sort of, you know, service, whatever they are expecting, even more than their expectation. Mm -hmm. There are so many different models, ERM. 
one model is called IDIC model, which is developed by Don Pippers. So that the model is we need to be we can look around in our organization how we can uh -huh. according to this model first we need to identify who your customer or if we know what the customer if we don't know where this customer is originally from what type of the uh -huh. culture they are what type of the food they like we can't really manage them effectively yeah that's why the first thing we need to be managed our customers by you have by to build a relationship with them uh, yeah. interact with them yes is a deep understanding first you know we need to be to build the customer we need a deep understanding if we know where are you from what you do what you like then we can deliver the service what you really want yeah yes so differentiate your customer to identify which customer have a most value now and which customer mm -hmm. most value for future okay some customer might be we think oh no 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 because some customer provides lot of value in future mm -hmm. So we need to be focus on on the customer value differentiate. Like you know, one customer can be smaller customer now, smaller airline client, but it can be bigger in future. Yes. Yes. We we need to be deliver the most interact with the customer, ensure they understand. The customer expectation and their relation with other supplier or the brand. So we need to mm -hmm. in, interact with the customer. Customize the offer. Customize the offer like segment we learn about in other unit. Oh no, yeah. you need big room, you need small room, you need what type of food you need. Yes, you need vegetarian, yeah. you need halal, you need you know Thai food, you need uh, Chinese food, you need Japanese food, whatever. Yes. So we yeah. need to be look around, customize the offer and communication to ensure the customer expectations are met. Second okay. model is called CRM value chain model, which we use in other or uh, other type of uh, processes and organization as well, which is quite so. Everything we can try to create a value in it. There are the four supporting conditions leading toward the end goal. Enhance the customer profitably. The primary stage customer portfolio analysis, customer intimacy, network development, value proposition development, and managing customer life cycle. Customer life cycle when the customer book it and the one the customer leave the organization. That's a whole life cycle, yes? Yeah. Like we learned about the product life cycle. Yes. Yeah. So now we we can and these are quite crucial. We need to be managed. So customer relationship management is quite crucial and we need to be managed. Okay. So how we can create the value? So value chain model says primary stage. We need these are the primary stage at the top which we need to be focused value proposition value proposition when we launch you know the product we'll look around we'll segment it we'll give okay ah uh, yes you can uh buy one and get your second ticket half price yes mm -hmm. if you book one day two if you book whole week you will get discount or if you mm -hmm. regular come you get discount so those we can discuss it So these things we need to be focused as well. Then we are looking the leadership and culture within the organization. We need to look around culture. What is meant by culture? Um. So ways and values and beliefs of someone's country. 
within our product that you mm -hmm. buy this you know with the course you will get extra free yes kids can be mm -hmm. eat half price it can be uh, the family package yes those sort of the things you know we need to be create the value proposition with it value okay. assessment so we'll assess them co creation we need to look around the position acquisition economy uh -huh. and we on top need to be focused the economy drop scale reducing the cost ultimately help you know to be improve or we could deliver well more value for the customer okay multi channel integration sale force outlet direct marketing call center electronic mobile commerce where you know apps and all and social media that will help us to create the value and the relation with the client okay commerce assessment shareholder result implies value customer value shareholder value cost reduction that's quite you know we need to be value value mean we can exceed their expect implies want to be good working environment implies want bonus yes mm -hmm. so we will try to be imply want promotion customer want cheaper price shareholder want more return yes okay. all the we need to be focus on balance it to create a value performance monitor standard we need to yes what is a standard how long we need to be wait client yes standard you know we we'll uh -huh. deliver what time we open bar what time you close satisfaction measurement on the scale feedback results uh -huh. api key performance indicator so data all this you know this these are the things is quite crucial some it system analysis uh -huh. we can say per night per room per output per person yes how much is all these front office application what type of the service front office can offer what type of application can be how we can integrate with others okay then oh. next one is a back office application Okay, these these will need to be focused. Any question? No questions. Next model is called final comprehensive CRM model. Come from Gartner. So this is about the leading IT research and advisory company. They did fourteen hundred such analysts, consultant, and they gave the model. The model for just the companies need to be competencies. Competencies. If you pass your okay. driving test, you are not a competent. When you drive off for two years, you become a competent. Competence is the difference, you know. So, building CRM VN, developing CRM strategy, designing value. So they just looking this, you know, tenses. CRM VN. We need to look around the leadership, social work, value proposition, CRM strategies. Objective segment, effective integration, value experience, organization collaboration within all you know culture, structure, customer understanding, people skill. People skills we need. From what type of competencies we want in a chef? What type of competencies we want? Yes. What type of incentive and compensation we want to give? Effective communication. There is a good coordination, you know. between senior junior and all level of management cr process is customer life cycle we need knowledge management <clears throat> do we have a knowledge latest technology do we have a cultural knowledge do we have a professional knowledge okay so all these things lead to
So these things we need to be focused really, you know, in terms of to be create the value for customer. Data analysis, cross channel CRM technology and CRM metrics, cost server satisfaction, loyalty and social cost. Social cost mean you know if we put the job, you know, how much cost as a society. So we need to be work in the best way. Best society. Okay. Anybody any question about that? Could you explain that CRM Sorry, which one? The CRM metric. CRM metric? Yeah, because um I am thinking metric like the metric system. Yeah. Dealing with figures, so I'm not sure if it's okay. if it's the same thing that they mean here. Oh uh, yes, we we can use the metric system, like you know, giving the coding to be each, you know, to be like you know what we giving the grades to the certain we can say highly, uh, like exist in a market we learn, you know, in marketing unit. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Okay. We can use it. But, but we can include the number as well. This is one okay. of part of the metric as well. You're right, you know, there are the, but we need a complete. Yes. Yeah. So this is okay. competencies in eight areas. In which the competent areas, we can build our CRM effectively. Okay. Our relationship time. Okay. Any other question you, if you're ahead? No other questions. Okay, let's we'll move to next now. Next we'll we'll discuss, you know, few uh I'll I put so many slides but I'm not going all. But is a okay. I just through and please do a bit background reading. I'll go go through the book with you as well. Consumer buying yeah. behavior. Consumer buying behavior refer to the buying behavior of the final consumer, individual household who buy the goods and services for personal consumption. How do how do consumer responds on the various marketing efforts company might use? So consumer behavior is the consumer behavior, the purposeful and goal oriented consumer choices. Consumer is a process. And consumer education. Yes. So we need to educate to consumer. Sometimes we'll we'll say you know consumer is the thing they can make the decision best. No, but the lot of marketing company they can create a demand within it. Okay. So we need to be big influence on the consumer behavior. Yes. So yes. how we. There is a model called stimulus and response. Like, you know, whenever we'll do and the response will be like, you know, if your, your teach dog and you just sit down and stand up, dog will follow your instruction, yes? Stimulus. Mm -hmm. You're giving food to the, like, you know, if you have a hen or right uh, mouses and putting in a cage and Sometimes you regular when you putting the food, they coming straight in the and they take the food. Even one day you go without food, they will come to you as well. Yes. Stimulus and response. So this is a stimulus response theory as well. Marketing stimulus, product price, place and promotion. Promotion, yeah. Economics, technology, political and culture. Yeah, that with so many different names though, because you know that we know the product price and place from marketing as the um the four P's or the five seven P's. Now they have them as the stimuli. Uh yes, 
you're right you know but these are we are using this is a, they just we are using to be understand the customer consumer behavior is it the behavior change due to the price it will keep the low price sometimes consumer think oh no no this is a low quality product mm -hmm. so they have a different mindset stimulus different perception about the thing okay sometime we can offer really good food on the corner shop but the people not going it they say might be oh no 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 yes okay so perception stimulus huh? so response yeah. as buyer black box there buyer characteristic buyer decision process we don't know we need to understand it okay buyer response can be product choice brand choice dealer choice purchase timing and purchase amount some people buy more some buy less yes yes based on the price yes their response could be different when the price drop the response will be higher yes consumer behavior cultural factor affect you know consumer behavior social factor in society will affect the per mm. personal factor will affect psychological factor will affect it. consumer behavior uh-huh psyche about the people factor influence the consumer behavior cultures subculture social classes upper class middle class lower class yeah reference group in society if somebody say uh, like a church father will say to somebody the the people accept it no. yes mm -hmm. so their behavior yeah. will be influence family is big a family like in a family grandparents will say something yes consumer mm -hmm. behavior goal and status you know when they have a status high status conscious people they have different behavior than other yes age and the life cycle stages have a different behaviors mm -hmm. occupation economic circumstances lifestyle personality these all psychological psychological motivation perception learning beliefs and attitudes that leads to the buyer so all these when we want to be factor these all factor influence the consumer behavior and we need to be man we need to be best understand them and these factor we need to understand them yeah okay i'm not going through these subheading but please you do a bit reading yes okay consumer yes individual attitudes membership occupation lifestyle personality and we have a uh, some theories we learn about did we learn about maslow not here but yes we have been talking about maslow's hierarchy of needs yes okay so according to the maslow if we want to be understand the consumer behavior we need to understand their needs first Uh -huh. yeah. somebody have basic need no food there they not influence you give them good room yes yeah. then they they have a safety need if there is a no security there you offer them decrease the price of the hotel that's not a factor it so we okay. need to meet their then they need a social need sense of belonging love or like you know social need as a social interaction like you know in a some type of hotel or hospitality to meet their social needs is esteem needs we need a self ex esteem as respect respectful okay. culture not abusive culture within our organization yes people respect him implies each other not in front of the customer or they say oh i said you this 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 why you didn't yes or mm -hmm. use some you know some uh, abusive words self actualization mm -hmm. when will do achieve it that person need fulfill huh? yes i so be, be, sorry yes yes that self actualization is is personal that's on a personal level yes high high star but you know bid it's very difficult we can say 100% you can achieve it yes yeah 
but at least you know we up to some extent in some areas we can perception psychological factor we can look around the perception selective attention consumer are the constant from board the information we need to be look around screen out the stimulus we need a brief they online lot of website lot of you know medias we need lot of bombard of the information so we need to be look around short selective information selective okay. so message don't information them always come across in the same way yes same yeah. message price reduction is a 20% room is it not 20% on food they need to be clear yeah. huh psychological factor selective okay. retention will forget much yeah. that they have done, but will intend to retain the information the sport them attitude and believe so carry on retaining oh we are all together we are all the team we always work hard every week some training some slogan something we can use it yes yeah? improve the uh-huh. learning always we need to be learn about this believe we need to be understand attitudes we need to understand by a decision by a decision process we need to be understand need recognition mm-hmm. order we need to recognize the need of the people the information search we need to evaluate the alternative yes how we can reduce the cost small room big room yes small mm-hmm. package package in room service other room yes all alternative different price pick from airport drop from airport all these packages we need to be think about purchase decision then they make the decision about different alternative either which one they will go ahead post purchase yeah. behavior of the customer according to the court may be is the behavior this is the behavior after they would have purchased yes after purchase you know, what their behavior they want to be come back again to purchase it or not or they, yeah that behavior we need to be noted as well yeah so this is all explanation of all yes mm-hmm. how this is uh, these sectors you know purchase decision evaluation of alternative purchase intention attitudes of others unexpectation and purchase okay this we need to understand yes post purchase behavior best practices so okay. i think so we'll keep up to here so these are the key terminologies really we need to be focused aspirational group we need to be attitudes beliefs brand image okay. i think on the response response family life cycle we need to understand learning we need to understand lifestyle we need to understand membership group where this group they belong to is it belong to the airline industry they belong to the any other industry so we can understand their motive yes different motive yeah. you know how we can opinion of the leaders personality reference group role self concept and social classes okay so next slide i'm leaving you for you in the next lesson we'll go through sorry yeah okay really okay this is about the this is about the service quality create the value for customer customer delivery which we will go through in the next lesson customer satisfaction loyalty how we can make customer loyal what is the benefit to be a loyal customer expected service gap service quality where we have a gap how we can fulfill the gap this is a service quality gap model have new mm-hmm. management system in our organization so we can manage five different gaps there how we can look around and we can use these gap model uh, to be reflect you know our service quality is it appropriate or not if not how we can improve it yes this will will mm-hmm. go to more in detail in the, during our next lesson hello okay uh i send you the book as well uh huh so which is quite good to use in your uh moodle as well this is a 
customer relationship management concept and technology in a hospitality industry that's a little so please you can read a bit chapter 1 we covered we discussed chapter 2 3 a bit as well okay okay so these these really we need to be focused all right any question no question hello what no any question no question anjum okay so you two have a nice weekend we would thank you same to you uh, and i'll from next we'll do lesson 9 o'clock on huh? friday okay i'll we'll be back on the routine all right anjum okay okay see you then thank you Eden, bye bye are you are you going for it it will fit you tomorrow or monday uh yes no no tomorrow okay okay so in warik to you are you going tomorrow ah uh, we would we would go tomorrow i'm just